Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing and in today's video I'm going to show you a cool new dynamic page that Wix Studio just released that allows you to update and manage your CMS collection items directly from your website. So here's a quick preview of one of those new pages and so I can select the item that's in my collection and then I can update this item here. I, can, I have all the property fields. I can save it, preview it, delete it, and undo the changes. So I'm gonna show you how this works in a couple of different use cases on how you can start using this on your Wix Studio websites. This is something I am actually really excited about. This makes it super easy for you to update your content or to have site members update your content, which is something that we'll talk about in a little bit. So let me show you how you can add a page like this. So over here on the pages panel on the left hand side, you can go to add new page and then you have to select dynamic page here. And then once you select dynamic page, you'll see this manage content and that this is a new option. So this manage item page. So this is recently released by Wix Studio. And so these three were always here, this list page, item page and blank page, but now we have this manage content page. So all you have to do to create this is you go in and you select your collection. So I'm going to do this real estate properties. I'm going to select the manage item page and I'm going to add it to my site. And the cool thing is, is once the page gets created, um, it will dynamically pull in all of the fields for that collection. So here's all the fields that that collection has. It dynamically pulled these in for me and my page is ready to go and you can tell that from the other real estate one these fields are different um, Wix Studio did that for me automatically to pull in all of these properties that my collection has so now if I want to go in and edit an item I can I just go in and select which item I want to edit and then I hit go and then it's going to update and I can change these so if, if I want to change the price on this from three hundred thousand dollars or maybe three million dollars I'm gonna change it to five million so I'm gonna do five million and then down here I'm going to click save and we'll see if that saved for me okay so now let's go in and check my collection here and see if that updated Okay, so here we have the penthouse in Manhattan and it updated from three million to five million dollars. So you can go in and update these. You can also delete these as well. So let me show that real quick. So let me go back to the penthouse in Manhattan. Let's say I don't want that listing anymore. It's not active. That property has sold. I just go to the trash and then it will gray out, which means that that item is now deleted from my collection. So if I go back to my CMS collection here, we won't see that penthouse in New York anymore. So this is a really cool uh, way to update your content directly from your website. And let me show you one more use case uh, that, uh, that will make this really powerful. So in the collection settings here, the permissions and privacy, so more actions, permissions and privacy, you can set who can view content, add content, delete content or update content for your CMS collection. So this one right now is set to public, so anyone can view, but only the admin can do the rest of these things. If I set this to member generated, these fields down here are going to change. So that means that anyone can view the content, but now a site member can add content and a site member author can delete or update content. So the site member author, all that means is that if the site member was the first one to add the content, then they can also delete and update that content. Um, if they weren't the first one to add that content, let's say you have one site member who lives in New York who put a listing for their New York property and one that lives in Arizona, the New York member cannot edit the Arizona property. Only the Arizona site member can update and delete that Arizona property. So this is really, really cool because it allows your site members to be able to update those collection items on their own and so that you don't have to manage everything manually. The other thing to keep in mind is that even though it's not listed here, the admin can still do all of these functions. They can still view content, add content, delete content, and update content. So that's really a, 
a cool thing to start playing around with and also there are other types in here and you can set your own custom so if you want the site member author site member to view but only admin can add you can you can edit all these different uh, content permissions however you want them so the last thing I wanted to show is um, we're going to create a collection and then I'm going to create one more of these pages. So in my collections, I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to just have AI generate my collection for me. And this is a fast way to get content into your CMS collection. So I'm just going to, it's a, it's going to be a job board and I want uh, a, uh, a job listing. collection. I'm going to have this let AI create this. So it's going to go through and create this content collection for me. So it already pulled in the job title, company name, description, and application link. So I want it to add sample content. So I'm just going to create this. And it's going to fill my collection with some data that I can already use. So I've got my job board, here's the job location, the job description, everything's all set up for me. And now if I want to be able to manage that collection, all I have to do is create another dynamic page. So again, I'm going into the pages on the left hand side, add a new page, dynamic page, and then this manage content page. And if I select my job board as my collection and I add it to the website, it's going to create this new uh, manage content section for me automatically. So I just wanted to do a quick overview here. Obviously there's more you would have to do to set up the whole member, member generated system. You'd have to have some of these pages, would uh, the page settings would have to be for members only. And you can see that these pages default to members only because site members usually are the only ones who you're going to be wanting to update this content. So there's other things you need to do to set this up to make sure that it works correctly that we won't cover in this video because it would take a while to go through that step by step. But I just wanted to show that it is possible to create something like this now using this new type of dynamic page from Wix Studio. And the last thing is, is it is optimized for mobile. And of course, you could still make some changes like this text is a little small to me. So I might go in and set my min max to 18 pixels, a little, bit, a little bit bigger here. So you can still edit this a little bit, but you get the same uh, changes here with the save, undo, and the deleting, and the next and previous, and you have that on desktop as well. All right, well, I hope that helps, and I will see you guys in the next video, and I'm excited to see what other things that Wix releases for the CMS features in the future because I feel like it is an area where they are putting a lot of focus right now. So I'll try to do more videos on the Wix CMS as they release more things.